Here is a message to you, our beloved daughter. Before I held you in my arms, your mother held you and never let you go. Before I sacrificed her for you, your mother gladly sacrificed your boy. Before I consoled you when you were upset, your mother consoled you with just the beat of your heart. Before I comforted you when you were restless, your mother comforted you with just the sound of your voice. Your mother is the reason I hold you today. Before you were even a twinkle in my eye, you were in your mother's heart. Your life, your safety, and your very existence depended on her, something I will never be able to repay. It will take a long time for you to understand the weight, the depth, and the immeasurability of your mother's love for you. But all right, but someday when you have children of your own, you will then understand what I now see so clearly. So I will hold you tight, but I will hold your mother tighter because my love for you grows the more I understand the measures of a mother's love. God appeared to Moses in the burning bush and told him to go to Egypt to lead the Israelites out of slavery. In response, Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your father has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. He would become what they would need him to become. His plans are not contingent upon any circumstances. He promises that he will be what he will be. That is, he will be the eternally constant God. God wanted to assure Moses and Israel that God would become what they would need him to become. In using the words, I am that I am, God used an expression to reveal to Moses a promise and a pledge found in his name. For me, like, yes, like that, breathe, 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 breathe. This resonates well with what we have prayed that you accomplish in your life. We have named you Izwirashe 
Anika Muperekezwa for your acronyms to be I am, which speaks more to what we have just shared before. In everything you do, our daughter, remember God is the center of everything. <laughs>